Okay. All right, everybody. It's time for some off-camera pickups. Our slowly, specialty. Slowly becoming my favorite segment we do. Because <laughs> normally when something happens... Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we've had some doozies here lately. <laughs> yeah, we had. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jessica, uh, we'll did you, go... Did you get the other one up and set it somewhere? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'll give you this. Well, I don't guess. show me. Spoilers. All right, so we'll start with these two dollar books. They're this from is my this is the. Do you know what issue this is? It says Iron Man 2020 War Machine. Does that mm -hmm. have anything to do with this? I, I imagine so, but I, I don't know the cover just well enough to know the number. Okay, yeah, me neither. Iron Man, True Believer. I guess I don't know the significance of this. I don't know if Rhodey. This isn't the Rhodey Becomes War Machine issue, right? Did I, I tell you at the, on the first page? It's just War Machine number one. Iron Man 2020, War Machine number one. Um, I'm sure Wolverine is oh, a, a, No, oh, how do I say Wolverine? <laughs> War Machine. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's very something. relevant. Okay. Book. Okay. And then uh, She-Hulk number Savage one. Savage. Savage. Not number the one. Sensational. The Savage, sorry. This is the money book, not sen this is, uh, Sensational. It's like the uh, less sought after. Let's see, just some two dollar books. Yeah, please go on next. I'll just keep my run going oh. here. You gotta be careful. So this is a book I missed when it first came out. It's called Heist or How to Steal a Planet Number One. Uh, I'm getting into space books, so I really wanted to read it. Doctor Knows had it. I took advantage of it. And then I got Dollar Comic. Swap thing. Oh, we I've never did. seen that before. Neither old swap, swap thing. Why not? Good old swap thing. Good old swap, swap thing. thing. That's it. We we were super <laughs> modest, but thankfully Justin's here, Captain Big Spender. Oh, it looks like it's Swamp Thing number fifty-seven. <laughs> I see that they actually put that on yeah, there. I appreciate that. Yeah, because I don't think always do it. No. So we're gonna well, let Justin take it away. Most of my haul came from two different places, so I'll get started with um, Doctor Nose. We went to Dr. Nose and I got my bags and boards refilled. Got Silver Age again this time, which I've been meaning to get. All right. Um, then also at Dr. Nose, I was able to keep some of my current streaks going. Got caught up on some stuff. Made a Spider-Man number 38 of the current run. Made a Spider-Man number 39 of the current run. And amazing Spider-Man number 40 of the current run. I think I saw 41, but I believe it's already waiting for me in a short box at Fantasy Factory. Okay. So I held off. You said those are all Dr. Nose, is that what you mm -hmm. said? Those are all Dr. Nose. Um, I got Batman number 89 second printing. I had to pay $8 for that. Ooh. But, I don't know. But I only have a third printing waiting for me at <laughs> Fantasy Factory. So You're now it. in the second printing club. I now have second yeah. printing of it. Um, I think I should have 90 waiting on me second print at <laughs> Fantasy Factory. That's exciting. But I went ahead and got number 91 of that. So I'm pretty much, I think, caught back up. Yeah, 92 will be coming out eventually. I have a question. Yeah. Did What's any up? of this get bought today? All of it got bought today. Everything I've showed number. so far did. Well, I was thinking about that. This, this is from TJ's. From a, oh, okay. This was from like a week or more ago, something like that. Okay. So we'll see. I got some random, just some random, random dollar books. But, uh, if you know me, I love X Men. I love Wolverine. There's Wolverine number 31. There's uh, Wolverine number 21. This one's special to me because this is during a run that's like one of my favorite runs in all of comics, like storyline wise. That's also a great cover. To do. <laughs> it's pretty detailed, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And this is just a few issues before. It's in that same run. Um, this is Wolverine number 18. Um. I'm trying to get that whole, there's like a six or seven issue run there that I have in a, like, collected in like a graphic okay. novel thing, yeah. so yeah. I'm trying to sort of get those slowly over time. I need to check to see how much progress I've made. Got Wolverine number 15 in that run. Wolverine number 12 in that run. That'll be a fun read. Oh, it's an, it's an annual. Okay. Yeah, we have some. This stuff's Oh. I'll keep, keep, keep an eye on it. I'm keeping an eye on it. 
Amazing Spider-Man is an annual. I never get annuals, but I love reading annuals. And this is uh, annual number... Uh, I think 37. 25 from 1991. Oh, that's close. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. All right, we have um, Amazing Spider-Man annual number 18. Pretty cool. I'm just, you know, as much as I get Spider-Man, I don't have any annuals. Yeah, he's got a bunch of them, too. Yeah. So, got the Amazing Spider-Man number 491. Thought that cover was pretty cool, like that. Yeah, yeah, that's a good Spider-Man. Oh yeah, he he had some. I kind of like the artwork on the cover of some of these. Um, have this one here, 481. This one I've seen a few places, and I figured I couldn't remember if I had it or not. Someone had picked it up. Amazing Spider-Man, Spider Girls, Last Stand, part of Edge of Spider Verse. You used to see that one in Game You're Saving a lot. Yeah, I got the number one. Well, those names get a little. I'll be honest. Like, oh, I may already have it. But yeah. <laughs> there are plenty of these I may already have, but I don't know. That's fine. Um, we have X Men number 333. Um, some of these are minor keys. That's why I bought them. I was looking at 317. I don't know if that's the one you're talking about, but that uh, Phylax stuff. Or however it's pronounced. I feel bad because you inspired me to get um, X Men keys from your video. And so I went through and got a bunch of X Men minor keys, but I can't remember what any of these are keys for. Well, this is a bad thing. That thing, that's what's in the House of X, Powers of X, right? Yeah, this guy, it's like something to do with this guy. It's important. That's what I was thinking. 317. Hey, I have that book. Yeah. yeah. X Men number 299. 299. 299. Oh, you just have a couple of face down. <laughs> like, no, no, I don't. No, I don't. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even see it. <laughs> 255. This is a fancy sleeve, too. It was, yeah. Do you recognize the tape? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 249. <laughs> not, not to be overlooked, all these X Men's are some sort of key. I just can't tell you. <laughs> 239. That's funny. I was inspired. My friends here said it's easy to get X Men keys cheap, and I checked it out. It was true. It's very You should true. try it. 235. Have you found that sweet spot in the 90s? Maybe yeah. even late 80s. It's like, I don't even know if it... I mean, they're like barely keys, but they're keys. And they're, yeah. they're a dollar, man. They so have the potential. This, I thought, was really cool. Um, Marvel Knights Wolverine Enemy of the State. I've heard a lot of good things about this, and this was the first book in that run, so... I would love to be able to read that one. You have to get it. And this one did not come from TJ's. This came mm. from our good friend Shane and Dustin. Is this a today purchase or is it is this today a purchase? Okay, I can't wait. I, like I got this from. I, I don't know if you'll be disappointed or excited or what, but it was a. You know, it it, it, it like cost it, a pretty penny. I, I feel like the thumbnail should be him holding it up, and on it will be like, "What did Justin get this time?" <laughs> you liked your thumbnail. All right, let's see it. I can't see. Hey, three sixty one. First carnage, <laughs> baby. I'm in the club. I've told Wesley if I ever killed him over one comic book that he had, it would be this one. I've been scared recently. <laughs> I'm Dude, like that movie's coming. You don't even have to worry anymore. I know. Let me see this bad boy. You can sleep easy at night, man. Because I got. Dude, I'm so happy for you, man. Thanks, man. I, I, do you think it's grade worthy or no? Uh, you told me there's a little something up here. But... Heck yeah, man. So. That's pretty. That's pretty. You got pretty. this today, right? Yeah, I got this today. Okay, because I sent him. Were you interested at all in that picture I sent you, or were you like, no, I'm not doing it? The that um, graded, the graded one. one uh, I mean, I was, but I didn't know if I wanted to buy it graded for that much. Mm -hmm. I paid a good bit less for this. I sent him a graded 9.4 last night, and I was like, dude, I know you want Carnage. Jump on this. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you did. Why would I mean, I'd be disappointed that was today. awesome? Because it's a repeat, but still. No. <laughs> no, I'm happy you got it. I'm, I'm in the club, and now I got first Venom, first Carnage. I guess I need to get first Toxin. And... Uh, they, they can't be nearly as bad, right? No. Okay. I, don't even, I don't even know what book that is. First Anti-Venom or... Uh, oh, yeah. No, those, those, are those are tough. Those are the ones, like, I don't even see it pers in person. The I've only, never seen it in person. The either. only time I've ever seen first... I think it was first Agent Venom. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was in Infinity Flux. Pretty so sure. So you actually saw it? Yep. And out of those, like, Anti-Venom, Agent Venom, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. The only... There's a few. There's, like, a third one I'm missing. And this may have... I don't know if this was even Agent Venom. may have been the first time Matt Gargan wore the symbiote. But oh, okay. That yeah. may have been the one I saw there. But out okay. of all those type books, the only one I've ever seen in person. They're weird. They're elusive for yeah. books printed in 2000. I feel like it's in... 
in a, in a category with another book we'll talk about later. Yeah, but maybe we'll get to that book tonight. Yeah. Two, one. Okay. Sorry okay. for the random countdown, but yeah. yeah. Anyways, got a good quality haul. I guess that's the most, if it's funny, if you think about it, it's the most keys I've ever had in one Yeah. I would love to like just pull up Key Collector and go through why everyone's a key. Just, just maybe I'll let you just sit there and read it all, and that'll be like a bonus. <laughs> I, I just don't want to bore people with tears. But <laughs> yay, first carnage! I'm, I'm in the club, so dude, I'm happy. We're now set for the movie. Yes, we are. That's true. Bring on all the success that can possibly yeah. come. Yeah, you no, gotta get 360. No longer rooting for it to flop. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna go after 360 to compliment it? I don't know. I don't know. First set, first Cletus. Uh, I don't know if it's... I guess it has to be. I don't know, dude. I feel uh, like he made a cameo before that, but... I maybe think we should do a reaction. Literally, uh, Dustin had first... I, th I think he had first Cletus Cassidy, but... Um, I, I'm, I think I'm going to wait for the live stream for some other stuff. Oh, gosh. I turned down some sub-100 Spider-Mans to get first Carnage, but... I think that, like, that book has more potential going for it this year or next year? Yeah. Than some of the sub More, more recently, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I'm I'm glad to own Carnage. Like, Carnage has always been one of my favorite Spider-Man villains. Can I ask though where this stacks up? I know it's below 300, but what sub 100s is it above? I mean, is that an easy list? Is it like right there with 300 or? I, I, man, it's it's kind of in my Secret Wars 8 category. I may okay. put Secret Wars 8 because uh, I paid a similar price for both. So. Okay, so um, it's it's in my Mount Rushmore probably. Can I just say that First Carnage is surprisingly affordable with the movie coming? Yeah. Like, you can still go buy this book. Yeah. Like, you can pay your bills, skip a couple of McDonald's, and just go buy this book. It is surprisingly affordable. Yeah. I mean, it's not like... It's nowhere near the dollar bin, you know. It's no, it's just, not. It's nothing it's like not. that, but it's uh, it's less than $100. So. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll a 9.8 sure will, will be... Probably a good chunk of change. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Nine Probably over under, you're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's, it's doable. It's attainable, which I'm, I'm very glad about. So, but yeah, I'm super, super glad to add that one to the collection. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm yeah, happy Add to my... Man. Definitely in my top ten comics that I own, so... Yeah, I'm definitely happy, because that is the one book that we talk about. I was texting about it today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you notice the theme. <laughs> <laughs> and they're coincidences, because... Well, I didn't know Shane was going to have First Carnage. That's what I was going to ask. Dustin. Did I didn't know Dustin was going to have it. I was looking at the sub-100s, and I was like, it literally, Carnage was what inspired me to look past 100s. 100. Yeah. yeah. So it went from, like, number 99 to, like, 1-something to two, 252. Okay. Then it went straight to First Carnage. Like, it was really, like, something in the 100, something in the 200, something in the 200. They knew there was no crap in between. So it's a good thing you didn't keep looking. <laughs> I mean, I didn't yeah. see 300 in there. I didn't see 100 in there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm glad that I own that and all this other stuff I got. Got my bags on board and stuff. Got caught up on my recent runs. I mean, that's yeah. important, right? This has been a good day for you, man. That's Yeah, that's that's not, not being caught up on Spider-Man Batman has stressed me out. Yeah. But now you you are fully caught up? Or are there like some it, stragglers? Assuming number 90 made its way to my box. Yeah. And, I, and assuming I can just buy the newest Spider-Man, I assume I can. Yeah, we're in, we're in good shape. That is awesome, man. This was a productive episode. It was. Dude. It was. So I'm glad to show that off and just talk about my progress. I got to update my Wolverine list and X Men list big time. Oh okay. yeah. But yeah, that's a good problem to have. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, thank you all for watching. We and have uh, we have another off camera pickup probably coming up next, next on the channel. Yeah. We're definitely about to film it. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for viewing.